Hi everyone, how are you doing? I know it's been a while since I've recorded anything, but I really felt drawn to do this healing for all of you out there that I know have been going through so much. I'm sending you tons of love and compassion. This is not an easy journey, as we all know, and there's nothing that any of us can say to necessarily make it any easier, but I know that you're all holding so strong. I trust that you're all coming into your self-love as the time suits your journey and just learning so much and there's so much for us to be grateful for in this process as hard as it seems but at the same time I'm not going to deny that we need as much support as possible getting through this journey and today I really want to focus on a healing for all of you that I would like to channel for you just to help you on your way and you can replay this at any time that you feel the need if it resonates with you okay so before we get started I just want to make sure that you're all really well hydrated we're going to be moving a lot of energies and hydration is really important for that so if you need to pause this video go grab a drink of water or some herbal tea or whatever suits you and once you're ready let's make sure that you can be uninterrupted and just really relax into this okay so once you're ready let's get into a really comfortable position uh, you might want to sit cross-legged or you might want to lay down and even close your eyes that way whatever is most comfortable for you through this healing we're really going to focus on the breath really focus on gathering up any energies and allowing them to clear out of our field. So I want us to take one breath in as deeply as you can comfortably and then hold it at the top. And we want to imagine a buildup of any energies sort of almost clustering together and then dissipating. So let's start by just doing that. Take a deep breath in. And hold it at the top. Allow the life force of the air, of the breath, to just fill your lungs and fill your being with energy and release. Now I want us to really focus on grounding into the earth. We are spiritual beings, but we've chosen to come to this earth for this experience. And although it's dense, we do need to ground into the earth at this time. It's very important. So let's imagine very strong, powerful roots coming from our root chakra, even coming out of the bottoms of our feet. And imagine them reaching down powerfully into the center of the earth. At the center of the earth, I want you to envision the earth's central sun. I like to imagine crystal, just pure crystal, powerful light in this area of the earth. And we want our roots to reach down in the tips of those roots, just like a tree to be touching into this powerful energy. We're going to use this power of the central sun to transmute any lower form energies. So what we're going to do is take deep breaths in and focus on some of the lower energies that we're all carrying and just dissipating those. I want you to focus on any anger. Just take a deep breath. Feel any anger within you. Any angry moments that you've had. 
in the past and release into the center of the earth. Let's focus on any impatience that we've had through this journey, frustration, sadness, fear, any moments of low self-worth. Let's release all and any lower emotions, feelings, thoughts. All release. And as we release them down these roots, let's imagine them dissipating into light and traveling back up these roots and filling any of those areas back up with pure love and light energy. Now I want us to go through a body scan and for this body scan I want us to really notice any areas of the body that we're holding on to, any tension. So let's start by focusing on our crown and our third eye just really want to melt away and dissipate any stuck energies, any blockages and closures there. Let's really try to focus on releasing any tension that can be blocking us from receiving any higher messages, receiving guidance from spirit, connecting to our higher selves and our intuition really want to open up in these areas. And then next I want us to physically feel into our jaw area. Jaw can hold on to a lot of tension so let's just really melt that area. Take a deep breath into it. And releasing any pent up tension Again, letting it run down and ground into the earth to be transmuted to light energy back in those areas. Pure love and light filling those areas back up. And then let's go down to our neck, just focusing on any tension. You can even slightly move your neck back and forth, side to side. And just breathing deep. And imagining any balls of tension just being able to be melted away by the pure love and light that's coming back up through our roots. And now I want us to focus on our entire upper body. So shoulders, chest, upper back, and really focusing on that heart center as well. And the throat chakra as well, actually. Let's really focus on clearing any blockages and pent up energy surrounding these areas. I almost want you to imagine energetically gripping, you know, like a, a big energy gripping around this entire area and almost like squeezing you tight and just take a deep breath in and hold that tension and imagine all that tension going into the center center of your chest and building it, building it, building it up until you're just ready to release and breathe out and let it go, let it flow down the roots. We don't want any blockages around our heart. We don't want any physical pain in our backs, in our neck. Let's just focus on releasing all of that tension. Next we'll go to the lower back. And again, imagine this grip and this tension. Focus on the lower back and even the hips, buttocks. And let's focus on the womb area as well. We want to send a ton of healing into this area for men or for women listening to this. 
into our solar plexus and sacral chakras. Imagining again that light just filling this area with healing, healing energy. And again, let's take a big deep breath in and imagine collecting up all the areas of tension, any pain in your lower back, physical pain in your womb area, collecting it all at the center of your womb. Again, deep, deep breath and hold it, hold it, hold it as much as you can. And a big release. Again, sending this energy down and just imagining it just burning off any lower energies, any pain that we're holding on to. It's just transmuting and again, traveling back up into us with pure love and light. And now another deep breath in and let's focus on our legs. And really focusing right up into our root chakra. And just allowing this area to open up as much as we possibly can and releasing any old energies, any guilt, any tension. And again, any physical pain, any feelings of powerlessness. And let's just focus on any pains that we have in our legs, our knees, our ankles, feet, the centers of the bottom of your feet. Let's focus on really opening that area up as roots come out and just allowing any final lower energies. Sometimes it can be seen as a dark black sludge or a tar. Let's really focus on asking that these energies be fully cleared by the end of this healing. Now that we've gone through our body, and I hope you're feeling very light, very open, very clear, so that we can go deeper into this healing. Because now I would like to call in the help of some of the high beings that want to assist us on our journey, and they're coming through powerfully. There's certain high beings that I call upon, but feel free call upon those that you resonate with most. First and foremost, and as I've chosen for the artwork on this healing, are Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. They are really on their mission on the other side as protectors, healers of the Twin Flame Union. And they are the highest representation of this union. And they're focusing on sending us tons of love, tons of energy to get us through this, tons of compassion for our human 3D selves that have a hard time with this. They are sending us so much love and light I also strongly connect with Archangel Michael all throughout my mission and I feel he's also another keeper of the Twin Flame mission, constantly protecting us and shielding us and helping us to cut any cords. So let's focus on that as a way to begin this deeper part of our healing. Let's begin by asking Archangel Michael for cutting any cords that no longer serve us at this time. We can envision him circling around us, around our aura, with his sword of light, cutting through any cords that no longer serve us. From this life and any past lives, 
many timelines and dimensions, past or present. And we ask for the assistance of these high beings in going through to the past and finding any times that we've given our power away. Let's graciously ask to receive our power back. Now is the time for empowerment. Now is the time to fully step into our full power, especially for the Divine Feminine. And again, we all have the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine within us, so we are asking for balance now. So we ask to lift this Divine Feminine energy as we balance these two energies within us like a yin-yang symbol at the center of our being. And we would also like to give back any power that we may have taken even unintentionally in this life or any past lives. We would like to give back any power that we have may have taken from those we ask for the high being's assistance in allowing us to do so. And sending pure love and light energy to those who may have taken our power or whose power we may have taken. And just filling with the energy of pure love and forgiveness for all parties involved. Now I want us to focus on allowing our energy to come into the here and now. And in this, we ask for any high beings, assistance, and also removing ener energy that we have projected into the future. And also any ways that our projections of the future may have affected those around us, our twin flame, our twin flame union. We ask to take any of these energies back now and stand strong in our power of holding our energy in the here and now. We want to let go of any fantasies, any daydreams, any expectations of how we think things should be or how we expect them to turn out. Oh, and this is a big release for a lot of us, but so necessary as we step into our power. So we do ask for any assistance, Archangel Michael. Jesus Christ, Mary Magdalene, and any other high beings that are assisting us in our unions, our higher self, our soul family. We ask that we step into the now and truly step into our power and release any fears Release any energy of fear and let it go now. This is a big one. <sighs> Feel it coming down. Feel energy gathering through your solar plexus. We ask to remove any lower energies and really stand in our full strength and power now. Breathing into that one. This is a strong one for us twin flames right now. We're truly being asked to come into our full self-love and power. So that we can let go. And accept this journey. For what it is. At any given time. Being in the now, the 
being in the now of pure love and light energy filling us, healing energy surrounding us, carrying us through with full love and strength to live the best life that we can in this earthly plane. Now let's go into our heart center and ask that the high beings really focus on helping us to tear down any walls surrounding our heart. We want to stand in a place of openness because once we've let go of these fears, we can truly open our heart because there's nothing to be afraid of in this earth. You are a powerful being of love and light. You are filled with the energy of the Christ consciousness. You are ready to be the angel on this earthly plane that you've come to be. You are ready to stand strong in your mission and to do so, we need to remove any blockages that will block that pure love from coming out of your heart and spreading onto this earth. And also letting go of any fear of any lower energies because you are now so pure You've done the work. Your light is untouchable. You cannot be brought down anymore. And really feel this power. Breathe into this power. Feel the strength in all your cells of your being pure being of love and light. Now, Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene would like to come through and they want to send you so much love and gratitude for all that you do, for all that you do on your mission. Even in this moment now, for taking this time for healing and spreading love onto this earthly plane. I want us all to focus on being in the state of gratitude now for the healing that they send us, for the healing of all of our soul group, all of the archangels, our higher self, and for allowing us to connect with one another at this time. And to just feel so proud of yourself for all you've accomplished, for all you've cleared, for all the work that you've done up to this point. You've done so much. And I'm getting the message that you have no idea what difference this is making to bring us into the golden age. I want us all to really stand in the state of gratitude for this life we've chosen to come and live on this earth for all the lessons no matter how difficult no matter how frustrating for all the blessings and abundance that we receive on a daily basis we're all so blessed
really ground into the state of gratitude. And now, Archangel Michael, I would call upon you to shield this energy, this pure energy and the state of being that we are in right now. Let's shield all around our auras and protect the twin flames and to allow us to continually ground our energy, whether consciously or unconsciously. Please assist us to stay in this state of being. In the state of being of just pure love. And I'm receiving a message from Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. Again, I just always feel so much gratitude from them for all the work that we are doing. Almost like they're so proud of you for the undertaking that you've come on this earth to perform for the good of all of our souls, all of humanity. And they want me to pass on a message that your union is protected. Please do not doubt this. Please do not doubt that what you are longing for, you will receive. There is no need for any fear. There is no need even for any longing because it is yours. It is within you. And whether or not you experience it on this 3D plane, it is yours and nothing will ever take it away from you and please believe this please stand in your power in this lifetime please enjoy this lifetime frolic play enjoy the blessings of this earth allow for the abundance that is coming to you. Let's surrender. Let's trust. Know that you can go forward in this life and you will be protected. You will be taken care of no matter what. And this is not all in vain. is for the higher purpose and you will see that one day on the other side is what they're showing me so feel this protection around you hold on to that think about the faith that Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene had to have during their time here on earth and now they want you to know that just like the artwork they are eternally connected and eternally together that any struggles that we may face on this earth are to prepare us for that and don't lose hope don't lose faith Everything is going to be okay. Everything is love and light. I hope that helped all of you. I'm sending you all so much love. And I thank you all for listening. And I thank all of you who have subscribed, who have liked my videos, commented, those who have come to me for healings. I 
thank all of you for your assistance on my mission and for allowing me to come through in my own journey and share that with you in any way. It's really helped me as well. Many, many blessings to you and I will try to be back soon with some more. Tons of love and light again. I will speak to you soon.